William Ruto is probably one or two years younger than me. He was one year behind me at the University of Nairobi. He belonged to the Christian Union Choir, used to sing his lungs off. William Ruto, after graduating from the University of Nairobi, instead of looking for work and working honestly, joined Kanu, forgot about his Christian upbringing, forgot about his peasant background. He joined Kanu and became one of the most vicious Kanu uh, youth wingers. He, with Jirongo, started brutalizing Kenyans, started spreading propaganda as the main language of the ruling party, started looting the economy, plundering the economy, destroying the economy. Ruto presided over the printing of fake money so that they could um, rig the elections of 1992. That is why Jirongo was called a uh, 500, uh, 500 shillings note because that's the first time the shilling, 500 shilling note was introduced in Kenya. Within a few years, as one of the linchpins of Moi's dictatorship, Ruto became extremely wealthy, courtesy of grabbed public land, courtesy of grabbed public assets, courtesy of a serial of frauds. Ruto now is perhaps among the top 20 wealthiest Kenyans. He owns the Western Hotel, which is estimated to be worth more than 2.5 billion Kenya shillings. He owns the, the Washigishu Nkandla, the residence, which sprawls for miles, uh, estimated to be worth more than 2 billion Kenya shillings. William Ruto is reputed to have bought the 680 Hotel in the middle of Nairobi, worth close to 3 billion Kenya shillings. He owns the Hoteler Enterprises Limited, worth over 2.5 billion. Karuto Properties along Jogo Road, worth 3.5 billion. Amako Insurance, worth probably close to 5 billion. Oseng Properties Limited, his current home, K K24 TV, and many other properties. Why do I list all these properties? Just to show you the amount of looting spree this man, William Samoy Ruto, has been involved in. But Ruto has been involved in more than looting. Ruto also has a son with Akinyi Walkoa Odinga, the sister to Rai Odinga, and the former wife to Dick Oneko. Ruto has is reputed to have had 27 children in two years. Between 2007 and 2012, Ruto had had more than 30 children. The man has been on a riot. On a riot in bed and on a riot in the looting spree. The man is dangerous to the economy of the Republic of Kenya and to social order. William Samoy Ruto cannot be the president of the Republic of Kenya. Nor can Railodinga. Nor should Uru Kenyatta continue to be. It is time that we say no to all despots and deputy despots. And William Ruto belongs to the Kanu despotic regime that wants to spread its tentacles for more than a century. Citizens of Kenya must organize to stop William Ruto, to stop Railodinga, to stop Uhuru Kenyatta from institutionalizing the culture of impunity, from trying to succeed himself. Uhuru Kenyatta is trying to use the BBI to succeed himself. Railodinga being a coward, a greedy coward, 
is just playing along because as long as Rail Odinga has bodyguards, as long as Rail Odinga has a red carpet, as long as Rail Odinga is eating, as long as Rail Odinga is capable of suppressing everyone so that the Odinga family remains supreme, Rail Odinga is, is going to do anything. He's going to praise Uhuru Kenyatta without actually remembering that Uhuru Kenyatta is the one that mowed down more than 10,000 of his supporters, brutalized and maimed them, and killed many. Raila Odinga is not going to talk about uh, social justice or electoral justice or victories, his victories that have been um, stolen from him. He does not care about Kenyans, nor does William Ruto, nor does Uhuru Kenyatta. These are tyrants who have absolutely no interest of Kenyans at heart. They don't care whether 55 million Kenyans live in squalor, live in extreme poverty, go without food, go without housing, go without the basic necessities of life. So I call upon Kenyans to say no. Say no to William Ruto. Say no to Raila Odinga, say no to Uhuru Kenyatta. Organize, mobilize, don't agonize.